Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about vibrato and how to get vibrato in the voice. So there are several different techniques uh, for getting vibrato. Um, I want to talk to you today about uh, use of the falsetto. First of all, to find the uh, vibrato in a very easy way. And then um, using some semi-occluded exercises to freely kind of release the vibrato in the lower registers. I'll assume that you all know what chest voice, head voice, mixed voice, and so on are, and falsetto. We're going to start off with falsetto. So we, um, generally speaking, you, it's easier to find high notes in falsetto. Um, so let's go with something like... So you can hear... Um, that the falsetto naturally has a lot of vibrato in it because um, it's such like a delicate um, chord closure with your vocal folds. There's only like a, the bottom part of them, which is uh, touching. And so it's very, very light. And that means you can really hear the vibrato in it. What's interesting is actually in any note you sing, there is actually a certain amount of vibrato. But when you sing like a straight note, ah... Uh, um, the the vibrato is basically the, the oscillating intervals are very 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 small so when we're singing with what you can perceive to have vibrato in basically it's just larger oscillating intervals the voice is basically more free it's shaken around more uh, and it feels better to us and it sounds better to our audience so what you can do is start off with that falsetto sound and then we're going to just bring it down Try to maintain the same feeling of vibrato into the chest voice or M1. So you go. So I can even just down there, which is clearly getting into M1 territory, like chest voice territory. We can still kind of get that oscillation, even though it's more difficult than uh, it would be with, uh, you know, standard kind of high um, uh, falsetto. So we go. Now, this is where the semi-occluded part comes in. So if you do something like a hum. The hum was also really, really helpful for finding the vibrato because it's um, we have the back pressure of the hum similar to like a, a lip, uh, lip trill or whatever. Um, so start off with that. It just helps to free up the vibrato, help the the vocal apparatus, you know, just be free. So mm, feel that vibrato just as on the falsetto before. From the hum, we then go into a vowel, so like R, E, M, A, M, E, M, O, Hey, hey, baby, I want to know if you be my girl. So, you can hear the vibrato there. Um, and it's just kind of finding that sensation, finding it in the falsetto, finding it with a hum, semi-occluded uh, sound, which is helping your, your voice box relax and, and oscillate freely. And then you just bring it into your uh, chest voice. And it is in different styles, like in opera, it's going to be more like low larynx. Mm, Vittoria, Vittoria, mio cuore. Or like in jazz, um, mm, hit the road, Jack, don't you come back. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, don't you come back no more. Uh, there's going to be different types of vibrato, different styles and so on, which you can experiment with. But I hope you'll um, have a go with these techniques and they'll be useful for you in finding your vibrato.